Hundreds of people lined up outside Eden Park in Auckland today, but they weren't clamouring to get their seats for a rugby game. Instead, they were there for food and Christmas gifts being handed out by the city mission to the needy. This year, the social service provider is distributing its emergency parcels from three different sites, while its central city premises are being rebuilt. Eva Corlett filed this report. And our um, family food parcels, we've got pretty much non a perishable food. That's Kelly Brown, former streetie turned food bank manager for the mission. We are standing in a room at Eden Park, one of the mission's three distribution centres for this year's Christmas drive. Pretty much all our presents for all our kids, ranging from different ages and stuff like that. So you've got sort yeah. of teddy bears and teddy games. Teddy bears, and games or whatever the kids like to play with. Brown boxes are stacked up either side of us. Volunteers dash in and out with shopping trolleys, creating special parcels for each family as they arrive. Some of those families have been lining up since 2 o'clock this morning. By the time I get there at 8.30, 150 people are waiting. Mr Brown says the need is great. We don't know how big it will get, but every year it always gets bigger and bigger and bigger, so it's just got to go with the flow, I suppose, on how everything goes. One of those lining up is solo mother of eight, Stacey. She had a job in Kaikoui, but last month her eldest son was admitted to Starship Hospital in Auckland and she lost her job. Stacey saw a post about the Christmas drive on Facebook. Here I am thinking I had nothing to give my children other than myself and love. And that's all, you know, I'm full of love at the moment <laughs> and time. Um, but yeah, it helps, you know, my babies are going to be really happy and I'm so grateful. And she has a message for other parents. I've been um, embarrassed, you know, asking for help for so many years in my life. And um, I've realised, you know, it's not me that's missing out, it's my baby. So I had to suck it up and sort of, you know, come and ask for help and... You know, this is the help that I've received, so it's a blessing that you, you put down that pride and you, you know, do it. City Missioner Chris Farrelly says it's mostly mothers and grandmothers lining up for help. This year the mission has had an unprecedented increase in demand for food parcels and will double its Christmas efforts. We have identified very clearly that we've got a growth in food insecurity and food poverty in New Zealand. A serious, it's a serious issue. So we knew that this would be exacerbated over the Christmas period. Chris Farrelly says having the distribution centres at Eden Park, Papakura Marae and Nafariwatia Marae in Mangari gives people a sense of privacy they didn't have lining up in central Auckland. Eden Park CEO Nick Sortner is proud to open the stadium gates to the community. It's sad to think that there are families that are in that position in New Zealand and um, I mean from Eden Park's perspective we're going to do whatever we can to engage with the community and offer the support that should be available to those families in need. Hundreds of volunteers will help out over the next three weeks. Eden Park ambassador and former All Black Kevin Mialamu was there packing presents and greeting people at the gates. Everyone down here are volunteers and so you uh, really appreciate the work that they put into making people's days and making it easier for people that are uh, going through a bit of a tough time at the moment. The Auckland City Mission is urging people who want to contribute to donate money if they can. Otherwise, presents and non-perishable food items are welcomed. Presents for teenagers, such as sports equipment, stationery and books, are especially needed. I tāma ki makaurau mō te hōtaka o te ahiahi nei, ko Eva Colette tēnei.